Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Amazon haul with uh, for you, not with you, for you, well, with and for you. So I'm going to jump right on in and the first thing I'm going to pull out of this box is something that I had been keeping an eye on and I was just like, I don't want to pay over $200 for this thing because it was really like $230, $240, whatever it was on Amazon. And I'm obviously, <laughs> duh, hence the title of the video. And I was just like, oh no. And then when it was on sale on Prime Day, I'm like, no, I still really don't want to spend money. And it was cheap on Prime Day. And I was like, no, I already have a Fossil watch and I really don't need another watch. I love my Fossil smartwatch. And I love the bling and all that fun jazz. Well, I ended up catching it after I came back from vacation um, a good deal and it wasn't prime day and I ended up doing a thing I ended up buying the um, Samsung Galaxy 4 watch and it's in the pink gold and as you can see I'm already wearing it obviously so there's the watch don't mind the swatches on my hand I just did another video for my BoxyCharm unboxing so that will be up already before this one so Take a quickie look. I'll put that actually up in the card for you guys. Ha, how about that? And um, no, we're not. We're not, I'm not showing you the watches. I meant to say. And this is the watch here, and then lights up with the time. Really awkward position for the time, but yeah, I I actually do like it. Um, I don't really keep the health tracker stuff on here. The only one that's on is when it tells me to basically get my big fat bloop 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 up off my chair and walk or do something. It doesn't say that. But it basically should be telling me get your fat up off the chair and do something you lazy fool. I'm not lazy at all but it tells me that at work especially when your doctor is not there and you're doing nothing but paperwork you're sitting and you're not really running patients too often. So anyway let me get comfy. So I ended up doing a thing. I ended up getting that. So a lot of this haul will be some accessories that I got for this watch. Um, a little bit of clothing, a little bit of travel stuff, a little bit of, a little bit of. So this, good purchase, good price. I'll link, like I said, everything down. Not, I didn't say that already. I'm saying it now. I will link everything down below. So we're going to jump right on in. But first thing, the watch. That is it for that. Um, let's see. Let's do some skincare and get it out of the way. I have already done this before. I've purchased this once before through Amazon. It's, I don't remember which. I think it was, um, the Amazon haul that I did saying basically like Facebook ads got me kind of a thing. Panoxyl. This works on my son. He, um, he, when he gets zits, he, his, color, his skin like gets scarred and discolored he is um mixed so he does have darker skin and it does not heal like mine would if i had a pimple or anything like that but he gets acne he does wear a mask mostly because he's in school so still and this is his last year yeah thank gosh but i repurchased this so that's that and i have to say this was something that i found randomly while we were on vacation we always stop at walmart and pick up a few odds and ends that we're going to need for the hotel room and i was like you know what he's going to need a serum because his face is always dry and i didn't bring the serum from home that i we use on his face so i found this and it's cetaphil healthy radiance antioxidant c serum right here is this a little pricey yeah about 16 bucks you know but a little goes a long way and that's the tubing right there it smells good and I swear this combo has been working for him that Neutrogena acne crap didn't even put a dent he's barely getting any pimples anymore and I'm just and all the old stuff yes now he's got indentations he's got the crater face going on but like all the discolorations are actually fading. I understand this does the bleaching part of it in your face and everything. But I don't care. His face is starting to look really good. Okay. Moving on to something else that I got. I already opened this up and I already put everything already in, in here. 
It's got little Ziploc envelopes here. It's got basically a budget sheet, which that's not what I want to be using it for. It's got a little ruler, which I won't be using either. Um, these were the stickers that were supposed to go onto the envelopes. Well, no, these aren't it. These are other kind of stickers, little colorful stickers. I don't know where I put the other ones. But the other ones had, like, you know, it said savings, vacation, car, home, this, 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 miscellaneous. Saving, yeah, I think I said saving. But I don't want those stickers. What I plan on doing with this little thing here is, yes, stuffing envelopes. But what I did was, if you can see, I stuck the months on here. So I have January, February, all the way through December. And my kids give me money for the bills because I all my bills come out of my check already. And they're on my cell phone bill and they pay part of their cab part of cable. And um, what money that they'll be giving me in cash... Instead of me depositing it into an account <clears throat> that I um, have outside of the home, I'm actually going to stuff these with cash. That's where I'm putting it. And I just want to see, and I'm starting it in September. So um, I want to see where I get to basically till April. Because I, I want to see how much money I can actually save. And then whatever I have extra of my own money... I'm going to stuff in here too. And I just want to see what happens. You know, I mean, why not try to do something with savings? Is it going to work? I don't know. It's a cute little binder looking thing. I don't know how well it's going to stay holding up. I mean, especially when this starts getting fatter and fatter with money. Probably not going to hold up at all. Should have probably got the one with the rubber band, but whatever. Worst comes worst, I'll get a new one. Next, we have here accessories for the watch. So not only did I get this here for its bumpers. I don't know if I'm going to use these bumpers. I even got bumpers here. I don't know how I feel about bumpers and changing up. I kind of like what it looks like. I really do. But who knows. Maybe I'll just stick the clear on there. And that way at least we'll protect it from scratching. I already have a glass screen protector already on here from... I don't have the packaging with me, but I'll still link it down below. Oh, and then I'll actually put a little picture up here on the glass screen protectors I actually have on here. I don't have them with me. But these actually come with screen protectors also. So if anything, and I don't use these, they have glass screen protectors. So why not? I think there's glass screen protectors. I believe so. Could be wrong. But little bumpers for the watch. Just link them down below too. All right, next we have a charger by Anchor. I have, let me try to pull it out here. Oh my God, really? I don't want to break the box. Oh, could be because I'm opening the box the wrong way. And the box is sealed with tape. And I'm going to have to break the box if I want to get in it. Oh well. And it is this kind of a charger I need chargers at two different places so this one I thought was nice plug it in into wherever and I have I guess that's a fast quick charge one and then three other little USB charging ports to plug in all of my charging stuff because now I have two watches that I charge I have an iPad that I charge and my cell phone so I need little extra ports Another charging station that I have here. How do you open? I'm going to have to rip this box too. <sighs> Tape. I didn't know. I would have had these things already cut open. That way it was easier. This is by Anchor if I didn't say. Oh my God. Really? What is the problem here? And, oh Jesus goodness gracious. Is there something in the bottom? The bottom? Yeah. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, my God. Is this not my day or what? Ugh. <laughs> and it is this slim little charger. Oh, my freaking God. And it is slim. I mean, like, slim. Like, so tiny. 
you have your quick charge here three other outlet the little plug that goes in there plugs in there and it's supposed to have adhesive tape to stick on the back and you can stick it up against like your nightstand or something or on top of a table so it don't move all over the place and I plan on sticking this like on the back of my um, nightstand run the cord underneath the nightstand into my little um, extension cord that I have there and just plug in all my USB crap that's right there and actually that was not yes that is a quick charge one but that's not a USB that's USB-C which I did not know that so hmm this might be a problem I know it won't I'll figure out something I'll get an adapter for my uh, phone but that is that oh my gosh the trash that I have next I have charging cords yes this just seems like a whole entire electronic haul here from Amazon don't worry I'm moving on to other stuff I got a two pack because I use these for traveling so and I was not spending the price for an original so that is it that's now mind you all this stuff is for the stupid watch and everything so two pack of these chargers so I can have for uh, traveling this one however is an original so this is an original charger for this watch I keep the originals at the houses so I have one already at the other house I'll be keeping this one here so and then the other ones will be for my two different travel bags that I have then we have for the originals not for traveling but this is so I can do this got these little charging dock stations you basically just stick your puck right in there you know what give me one I want to try this out where the hell did they go I will just demonstrate for you so you have your little charging puck okay so basically obviously this is going to go in here the cord comes through the back will come through the back here and wrap around or however the hell this goes I'll look I think it goes under hooks under here and you can just put your watch around it and since it's magnetic and just wrap your watch around it and it charges and it doesn't go anywhere that's what those thingies are for I thought they were nifty you guys may not think they're nifty but I'm a electronic weirdo whatever next another thing I don't know if I needed these I might have might just return these but are these little I might just keep them because my kids always end up needing them and I always end up having to go to five below and whatever so here's a two, here's a two pack of these pretty good in keeping these if not I'll give them my old ones and I'll keep the new ones that might be a better choice right there okay so ooh, let me and put all this crap back in the box here so that way I know where everything is and then we're going to move on to the other box of stuff that I have put you behind me next we're moving into the clothing and other fun stuff well I don't know if it's fun stuff for you guys but it's fun stuff for me so we're going to say okay just panties need new panties for work I'm not sticking around on that too long hmm next I got a romper for that travel time I don't know if these will be fitting me I got them in the size that I normally do but this is like a navy blue it looks royal blue there but it's like a navy royal with some orange flowers and it's got you know the little elastic here it is a, is it a working one no it is not a working drawstring and uh hopefully <laughs> my rump doesn't uh, make this look like booty shorts so I will not be trying any of these on I'm just showing you what they look like I'll stick a picture in the video for you guys to take a look I have a picture over here of what it actually looks like but I thought they were cute they have pockets got that got so actually you know what let's move on to the other thing that's also for that possible travel well, it is a travel, but uh, I think another package just showed up. 
and I got this other romper. I don't know how well this is going to be. It's a short sleeve one. This is why I only got one color of each design because I don't know if I'm going to like any of them. I'm going to try them on later. And if I don't, I'll at least be able to return them and just say it was nice to actually look at them. <laughs> so that is that. Next, I have, what are these? Tank tops? Yes. I needed new tank tops for work. And um, I got these black ones. Jesus Christ. Just plain basic black tank tops. Very thin. I don't know how stretchy they are. Oh, okay. Well, if anything, they'll be sucking me in at work, and that'll be great. I'll stretch these out. But plain basic black. I got a three pack good enough whatever next like I was saying before we jet ski and I wanted a new wet shirt rash guard whatever you want to call these I stick this on when we jet ski because the water hitting you it actually kind of gets cold and also it just protects you from the sun all that fun stuff and I wanted a new one. I have all black, but I wanted a nice new one. I wanted a light color one this time. To go with the theme of jet skiing, I needed some new water shoes. But they're not like the real water shoes. Like the thick, thick ones that they used to have back in the day. These are thinner. So, I basically call them sand shoes because they are so thin. I love using these on the beach. So... There's those. What else do we have? Okay, another item for this travel thing. So we're going to go on. I got two packs of towels. So, he needs one, and I need one, and I wanted something thinner than what we normally take to the, our regular beach trips. And I wanted something like this, and, oh. And I think these will be perfect because I, you're only drying off. It's not like, you know, I'm laying out, out in them. So I thought they were cute. So that's that one. And then there's this one, a striped one. So, and I think they're nice. I mean, what are you, what are you doing? Like, seriously, um, does it wrap around me? Let's see. It's good enough. Basically, it's just to dry off. I'm walking around in my bathing suit. I don't care. But, yeah. They're nice. They're thin. Whatever. There's also other ones that I'm probably going to get, too. And we'll take a look at those. But, I didn't want to buy all these towels right now. Next, to go with something else that I bought. But, that's going to be in another video. I'm doing, like, a collective haul for that one. So, it's going to be, like, different stores and different purchases online and all that so I'm gathering stuff but this is going to go with that one thing so and obviously that one thing you'll know by looking at this obviously I must be talking about luggage so I already know I love this brand the love book um, brand I own multiple backpacks like this from them I have I use a smaller one for work I have one that I travel with when I go to New York and I just didn't have anything this color and it kind of matches my uh, what you'll be seeing in another upcoming video I just got to get all my stuff together I just wanted to get these out of the way because you know I didn't I kind of needed to clear off this bed a little bit it was kind of getting crazy and plus um, this video is going to be up already after, but since we're, like I said, well, maybe, yeah. Yeah, this will be going up after we've already done our whole Labor Day jet skiing trip. So, um, I needed room to put the luggage on the bed so I can pack up. So, obviously, I need to get these videos out. Or, yeah, videos done. So I can pack for that trip. Trip has already happened. You probably won't see it yet. I don't know when this is going up. You might see it before or after this. But either which way, we had a trip. So, yep, that's what that is for. And it's nice and big. It's the 17-inch one. So, it's for like a 17-inch laptop. I do not use these for laptops. No, no. 
um, I won't even be taking my iPad. So, but I love it. It's pretty and it's very roomy. So I'll be able to take like my prescription medications and whatever electronics that I'm taking. Because I don't know what I'm taking. If I'm taking a camera, if I'm taking my GoPro, I I just don't know yet. I do enjoy just filming on my cell phone. It actually is pretty good quality and. Half the time you can't even tell if I'm on my cell phone or if I'm actually on my vlogging camera. So, that is it. Hope you've enjoyed. I'm glad now that I can get rid of all this stuff and put this stuff away where it belongs. Because <laughs> it's been collecting for a little bit. There was something else that was supposed to be in this video. I'll actually put the picture up here. But it still said it was a few stops away at the time of me filming this. And who knows how long Amazon's going to take to deliver it to me. But either which way, this is what it was. It's actually, it's bike locks, but we're going to use them for our electric scooters. We're, um, because we're, t we take them with us when we go to, um, to the shore. And we can actually ride our scooters all the way down to the boardwalk, lock them up since where we're staying at is so far away from the boardwalk. We can lock our scooters up and, um, to the bike thing and take the tram car all the way down to the pier that we need to get to and then when we're done we can actually ride it back hopefully it's not raining because if not we are so screwed that is it because they cannot get wet we'll be ruining 500 plus dollar freaking electric scooters and i don't want to be doing that so hope you guys enjoyed this video enough of me rambling if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And until I see you all again, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.